Ibrahim Traore, the youngest president in Africa, has recently been gaining immense popularity and has won the hearts of millions of Africans. He is considered to be a visionary and an inspiration for many, especially the younger generation. His leadership style is known to be progressive, inclusive, and focused on the betterment of his people. His policies and initiatives have been aimed at creating a more prosperous and equitable society. He has been actively working towards addressing key issues such as poverty, unemployment, and education. His innovative ideas and strategies have been applauded by many, and he is widely regarded as a promising young leader who has the potential to bring about positive change in Africa. Currently, in online search engines, the most frequently asked questions regarding Ibrahim Traore pertain to his personal life, such as whether he is married or has children. Additionally, his growing popularity has also piqued the interest of many individuals who seek to learn more about him. In this video, I will answer some of these questions. Before we delve into the topic, please consider supporting us by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. Your support will be greatly appreciated. In September 2022, Ibrahim Traore made history as the youngest head of state in the world after he and a group of junior military officers ousted Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henry Damiba, who had come to power through a coup in January. Traore cited Damiba's inability to address the ongoing issue of insurgency as the reason for his removal from office which he announced in a televised address on October 1, 2022. The 42-year-old Damiba was ousted by Traore, who was seven years younger and held a lower position in the military hierarchy. In Burkina Faso's military hierarchy, Traore holds the rank of capitaine, a French term for captain. The country's military command structure is based on that of France, its former colonial power. Above the rank of captain are three higher ranks, Commandant, Lieutenant Colonel, and Colonel, in ascending order. Although Traore's ascent to power is often described as meteoric within the military circles, it was widely expected. Traore served in relatively junior positions in Burkina Faso's military before his major breakthrough in 2014. That year, he was deployed to Mali as a soldier under the United Nations Peacekeeping Mission Program, MINUSMA. According to soldiers within Burkina Faso's military, Traore demonstrated bravery during his deployment to Mali. At the time, he was 26 years old and overcame a complex attack by militant extremists in the northern Timbuktu region. An unnamed source told Radio Omega that Traore, who was a lieutenant at the time, exhibited leadership traits including being willful, courageous, and close to his men. In addition to his assignment in Mali, Traore played a prominent role in fighting insurgency in his native Burkina Faso between 2019 and 2022. He was promoted to the rank of captain in 2020. Shortly after staging a coup against Amoeba's administration in September 2022, Traore acknowledged that his age, 34, would be a subject of discussion among those questioning his presidential credentials. I know that I am younger than most of you here. We did not want what happened, coup against Amoeba, but we did not have a choice, he told government officials in October 2022. The international spotlight on Traore came in July 2023, when Ibrahim Traore accompanied 16 other African leaders to St. Petersburg, Russia, for the Russia-Africa Summit. After a brief period of relative obscurity on the international stage, Traore made headlines with his unique presence and powerful speech during the event. As the leaders arrived at the venue, Expo Forum, Traor stood out with his military combat clothing, complete with a striking red beret and tactical gloves. He even saluted back to the security officers who were saluting the visiting heads of state, while many others simply walked past. Traore's muscular physique and commanding presence caught the world's attention when he posed for a photograph with Russian President Vladimir Putin. However, it was his speech at the summit that truly earned him plaudits. In his speech, Traore criticized African heads of state who bring nothing to people who are struggling and sing the same song as the imperialists who call us militia. He urged African leaders to stop acting like marionettes who dance each time the imperialists pull on our strings. Traore also called out African presidents who are happy to receive freebies, 
stating that they must prioritize self-sufficiency for their countries instead. He thanked Putin for announcing free grain shipments to Africa, but insisted that African leaders must work towards achieving food security for their people. Trower's remarks were compared to those made by the revered Thomas Sankara in the early 1980s. Like Traore, Sankara also ascended to the presidency of Burkina Faso through a coup and was known for his revolutionary ideas and activism. In 1984, Sankara spoke at the United Nations General Assembly and said that he aimed to provide two meals a day and drinking water for everyone in Burkina Faso using the strength of its citizens. Traore has been compared to Sankara on social media. Sankara led a coup against French leadership in Burkina Faso in 1983 while the region was suffering from a major famine. He won the hearts of citizens by addressing foreign debt and hunger with new measures. Today, Burkina Faso still faces hunger as its main challenge, but insecurity is an even bigger problem. Traor has pledged to fight extremist violence and is seeking support from new allies, including Russia. He believes his soldiers need better training, equipment, and intelligence gathering to defeat the militants' achievements. Ibrahim Traore is a leader with an innovative and practical approach to governance. He is a common-sense solutionist who believes in taking concrete steps to address the challenges facing Burkina Faso. He has identified several crucial areas that require urgent attention and has taken bold steps to address them. One of the key issues that Traore has tackled is the lack of local gold refineries in Burkina Faso. Despite being one of the world's largest gold producers, the country did not have its own refinery, which meant that miners had to export raw ore to other countries for refining. Traore recognized the potential economic benefits of having a refinery in the country and commissioned the building of one. This move has created many jobs and brought wealth to the country. Traore also identified the need to process tomatoes locally. Burkina Faso exports tomatoes to the world, yet still imports tomato paste from other countries. To address this issue, he commissioned the building of a tomato processing plant that will create numerous food products, generate employment opportunities, and maintain food security. Traor is also committed to improving the country's healthcare system. He has started the construction of a world-class health facility worth $80 million. To fund this project and other critical initiatives, he has implemented historic tax cuts and is partnering with the private sector to allow young entrepreneurs to access capital to start businesses. Another innovative approach Traore has taken is to introduce popular shareholding. This plan involves privatizing government holdings and projects to allow the public to invest in their country. He put up 20% of the government's phone company for sale to the public, which proved to be successful, with the government getting $60 million to spend on critical projects. Traore is a leader who is committed to defending the rights of his people. He has expressed his willingness to allow peaceful protests, even if they are against his own actions. He believes that he and his comrades have been entrusted with the mission to safeguard the country's future and that this requires transparency and accountability in governance. Burkina Faso is currently facing a territorial war with Islamic insurgents. Traor recognizes the importance of protecting the country's citizens and has taken steps to bolster the military. Many young people have joined the ranks to safeguard their country. Traor has also partnered with Russia for security assistance due to the lack of support from Western nations. He believes that the developed world's globalist policies have not been effective in helping the poor and are hindering progress in African countries like Burkina Faso. It has been noted that the wife and children of the current president of Burkina Faso, Ibrahim Traore, have chosen not to maintain a presence on social media platforms due to concerns over their security. This decision has been taken to prevent the dissemination of personal information and to safeguard their privacy. Recently, a photograph has been circulating on various online platforms, with several individuals claiming that the person in the image is Ibrahim Traore's wife. However, the authenticity of the photograph has not yet been confirmed, and there is currently no official statement from the President's office regarding the matter. In any case, what is your opinion regarding the video? 
If you found it informative, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing it with others. We also welcome your feedback in the comment section below.